a right shalom first and foremost I'd like to give all praises on and glory to yahweh by hashem yahushai by hashem rakakodash and give double honors to the apostles of great mercy not rule well salutations to the men of the hope land since they elect this is makaza from the trinidad camp just want to do a quick edification for the elect's sake and the name of this video would be um i believe i'll call it the spirit of soul all right the spirit of soul because right now it have the spirit of soul mingling among the spirit of david because right now the lord building up the tabernacle of david but apparently you know the spirit of soul is still within and guess what the mosai just like what he did by did with soul he's gonna he gonna um put away the spirit of soul all right from any camps all right so this first samuel chapter 15 verse 23 it says for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry because thou hast rejected the word of yahweh hashem yahushai he also he sh he had also rejected thee from being king all right so now the apostles passing out orders on you know better in the camps you know closing up the breaches thereof and here it have men that actually kicking up against the orders of the apostles what did, what did our Moses says? Your murmuring is not against him, but against the Mosai. Because the Mosai set up the apostles. And when the apostles set up elders and the elders set up men under them and have a chain of command. And men refuse to adhere to the, the chain of command. Guess what? You being stubborn. And you being um, rebellious. You being stubborn and you being rebellious. And the Mosai will reject you because you rejected his words. Alright? When brothers be set up over camps and you know and over over camps and the camps had a re, re, report to, to to you know particular brothers to to give the the report to the elders and that those reports can't be you know be followed through guess what that that is that that that, that is actually a breach in the in the in the, in the house the, the lord closing up the breaches right now all right then the scripture said in, in um, Ezekiel, he shall purge out the rebels from among you. And guess what? If you don't put away that spirit of soul, the Most High will purge you out. Alright? You men being proud. Pride is not a part of the truth. It's not a character of the truth. It's not a requirement of the truth. It's not a job. It's not, it's not part of your job description. Bitches be proud. All right, when you're holding on to old spirits, that is pride. All right, when you're refusing to, to, to take orders from somebody that's set up over you in the spirit, that is pride. That's a bitch spirit, that's a worldly spirit. All right, that's a worldly spirit. All right, when you, when you basically you say that only God could judge me, only, only is the only man that above me. No, it's not. Guess what? The most I set up men over you, the scripture said, obey them that had the rule over you. And that is why this can read it again. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And the scripture said, suffer not a witch to live. And stubbornness as the iniquity of idolatry. Which both are sins worthy of death. By you refusing to take heed to orders that was handed down from men above you. You are being rebellious. You are being stubborn. And the most high will get rid of you. As the scripture said in Job. It says, when he hideth his face from a man, whether it be, when he hideth his face, who can behold him? Whether it be from a man or from a whole, or from a, a, a whole, or from a people that the whole nation perish not. The most I could get rid of one man or get rid of the whole camp. All right? Purge out that leaven. All right? You need to power with a wicked spirit and a bitch spirit because that is what it is, a bitch spirit. All right? That pride is a bitch spirit. You're supposed to be humble in this thing. Romans 3 and 8 says, um, as some affirm that we say, let us do evil that good may come. You can never do evil and good come. You can never be a wicked ass nigga and go out there and do the Lord's work and say that is not the Lord among us. None evil shall come upon us. Guess what? You've been wicked as hell. The most I know among you. All right? The most I is not among you. The scripture said, examine thyself to see whether thou be in the faith. When you're being stubborn and rebellious, the most is not dealing with that shit. The most is not dealing with that bullshit. All right, you men need to get your minds right. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 2. Follow not thy own mind and thy strength. You men now coming into this truth and thinking that you know you know everything and nobody can't tell you nothing. All right? That nobody can't tell you nothing that, you know, 
like um, in First Corinthians, it says, I am of Paul and I am of Apollo. So basically, since I am of Apollo, Paul can't tell me nothing. And since I am of Paul, Apollo can't tell me nothing. Hey, cut that bullshit out. All right? Cut that bullshit out. We all have one head. Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai set up men on the earth to rule over us. So then, therefore, you have heads. All right? Stop that bullshit. But you ain't come upon that this person and that person. Guess what? If you, if this person was set up over you in the spirit, hey, you bow your neck to that person. All right? And there's a punch. There's verse 3. And say not, who shall control me for my works? Who, how the hell you can say who could control you for your works? That you saying, hey, basically you could do what you want and you could say what you want. Guess what? If you could do what you want and you could say what you want, then get the fuck out of GMS. All right? Get the fuck out of Great Millstone. This is not the place for you. All right, if you had a spirit like, hey, I could say what I want, I could do what I want, and nobody can tell me what to do or say, get the fuck out of Great Millstone. This is not the place for you. All right? It says, for Yahweh will surely revenge thy pride, and the Most High will cast you down. The Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, will cast you down, except you repent. Except you repent, the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai will cast you down. All right? This is the final precept. This is Proverbs 11, verse 2. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly is wisdom. And guess what? If you're not being lowly, then you don't have wisdom. All right? But when pride comes, shame soon will follow. Pride is, pride is the beginning of destruction. When, you, when a man falls it away from the most high. All right? You can't be pushing this truth and, and, and be pride. And be pride, prideful. That is an oxymoron. Them two things can't go together like oil and water. All right? That is like these, these, the Marie clay mixed with, with, uh, mixed with the iron. It can't come together. All right? It have no miry clay mixed with iron and great millstone. All right? It don't have that. All right? So you brothers need to get your mind right if you're in that spirit. All right? So with that, I want to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushai, Ba'ashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honor to the apostles of great millstone that rule well. Salutations to the men of the whole land, Saint Selek. This is Makazab from Trinidad Camp saying Shalom, stay strong and put pride away from your dwelling places. Shalom.